Hey guys, Zach from thebarbellphysio.com here today. This week's Mobility Minute, we're going to look at hip internal rotation. A lack of hip internal rotation is something I see a lot in my day-to-day -day practice as a physical therapist and as a CrossFit coach and somebody that works with a variety of athletes and Olympic weightlifters. Um, when individuals lack hip internal rotation, it often leads to um, getting a feeling of pinching in the anterior hip when they squat. And uh, so if you're somebody that has some anterior pinching of the hips when you get deep into the bottom of your squat, or feel like you have to really get into a very externally rotated position with your legs to squat down to a good depth, looking at your hip internal rotation is a really important thing to look at and possibly address if it's dysfunctional. To assess that, we're gonna get lying on our back we're gonna have our hip flexed to 90 degrees, so my femur is vertical, my knee is directly over my hip. From here, we're gonna maintain that knee over hip position while we move the foot outward. The angle we get should be between 30 and 45 degrees here if we have optimal hip internal rotation. I lack a little hip internal rotation, and it's something I have to constantly work on to uh, keep my squat depth where it needs to be for uh, my CrossFit and Olympic lifting. It is important to keep in mind that people's bony anatomy really varies uh, as far as the hip socket goes. So there's going to be some people out there that will never get optimal hip internal rotation. But if you're somebody that doesn't have much hip internal rotation, it should be pretty high on your uh, priority list for mobility work. Um, and and that will pay good dividends for you in your fitness.